Firmware version 5 for the Nikon Z9 is available now. This is the latest firmware update for the Nikon Z9, and it adds a lot of new features, but it also includes features that we've seen in other Nikon cameras, such as the Nikon Z8 and the Nikon ZF. One of the first changes you'll see in firmware version 5 are the adjustments to auto capture. Firstly, it has some adjustments to its graphical user interface. This makes it much easier to set the size and the speed of your subject in your frame. Second, you can now also detect airplanes in auto capture as a subject detection option. When auto capture is now running, there will be a yellow border around the edge of your frame to tell you that auto capture is active. And then thirdly, we now have a new reserve function. This reserve function is incredibly useful for any of you that have tried to use auto capture with a subject that needs to be set up ahead of time. So if you want to set your camera up for auto capture, previously you dialed all the settings in, you started the auto capture process, and then the camera sat there and waited, and it could have meant that it was triggered accidentally before your subject even arrived. Now you can use the reserve function to effectively turn your Z9 into standby mode. That standby mode means that all of your settings are saved, all of the auto capture settings are already dialed in ahead of time, but you can ask the Z9 to wait for one hour or two hours or even longer until you know that your subject is going to arrive. This is particularly useful if you're setting your camera up maybe in the dark, waiting for a sunrise, or maybe into the afternoon as the light starts to change. If you want to set your camera up ahead of time and get your Z9 to then sit and wait till that time comes around and then activate auto capture when you're not there, this new reserve function will let you do that. The next big change that you'll see with firmware version five is the addition of a new high speed capture option. So this new addition is a 15 frames per second option. The Nikon Z9 has been able to shoot at 30, 60, and 120 frames per second previously. But the new 15 frames per second is gonna be really useful for those of you that still want to make use of things like pre-release capture, but you might not want to be shooting at 30 frames a second or 60 frames per second and ending up with so many images. This new 15 frames per second will allow you to shoot in full frame. It's a JPEG file, and you can also change the quality of that JPEG file now as well. Whereas previously it was a JPEG normal file, this is now a JPEG fine file as well, and that quality can be changed in the back of your Z9 menu. You will also see a range of portrait related options added into the new firmware on the Nikon Z9. These options have been in the Nikon Z8 and also in the Nikon ZF, but they're now added into the Z9. These portrait options include a rich tone portrait picture control. It also includes skin softening. And we also then have portrait impression balance. This allows you to control the color and the brightness of your portrait images on the back of the camera in real time. Those are some of the major changes that you'll find in firmware version five. But there are also lots of smaller adjustments when it comes to customizing buttons and the way that the menus work in the Nikon Z9 as well. Firmware version five also has lots of small adjustments when it comes to adjusting the camera's controls and also how the menu systems work. The first major one is that now the shooting menu bank and the video recording menu bank are now separated. Previously, if you wanted to set those banks up for stills and video, they were always linked. So if you change from bank A to bank B in your photo shooting menu, it changed to bank B in your video recording menu. But now they are independent of each other. This is particularly useful for those of you that use your Z9 as a hybrid camera, shooting for stills and also shooting for video. The Z9 also now has the option to adjust your focus border width. This is similar to a feature that we saw recently added to the Nikon Z8. Focus border width allows you to increase the size of your focusing point display. This makes it much easier to see your focusing point if you're working in difficult situations or with busy backgrounds, or if you often lose your focusing point on the back of your camera, it should make it much easier to see. You can choose between a border width of one, two, or three. So there's a way that you can choose your own preference and own size of focusing point to suit you. When using manual focus on your Nikon Z9, you now have a new option called maximum aperture during manual focus. This allows you to force your lens to its maximum aperture, making it easier for you to manual focus with your Z9. On a previous firmware update for the Nikon Z9, Nikon added a feature called high frequency flicker reduction. This feature allowed you to dial in an extremely specific shutter speed, especially when dealing with indoor lighting. 
now Nikon have taken that feature a step further and given you the ability to save presets. This is going to be particularly useful for those of you that shoot sports in the same arenas or the same locations time and time again. Some of the new options that you can now customize to the buttons on your Z9 include Cycle AF Area Mode. This is a feature that we saw added in the Nikon Z8 and I'm so glad that we now have this feature in the Z9. It allows you to quickly cycle through your favorite AF area modes. If there's a particular area mode that you use a lot and you want to cycle from that to another area, you can do that just on one button and it's a real easy way of changing your autofocusing area. We can also now customize how the camera deals with playing back images on the back of the camera whilst you're zoomed in. It's quite common for photographers to scroll through lots and lots of images whilst zoomed in to check for detail and sharpness. And when you're zoomed in, you can choose how the camera holds that position. You can either have the camera choose the original position and it will hold that position in each frame. This is particularly useful if you're looking at a particular area of each shot. You can ask the camera to show you the position of your focusing point. Great if you wanted to check where the camera is focused on each frame. Or you can also ask the camera to use face priority and it will shift to a face in the image really useful if you're scrolling through lots of images as a sports photographer or as a portrait photographer in a studio. These are just some of the features that you'll find on the new firmware version 5 for the Nikon Z9. All of these features are designed to improve the usability of the camera and just making it more customizable to you and easier to use in every shooting situation. Firmware version 5 can be downloaded from Nikon's Download Center website or from Snapbridge.